Now to a developing story out of Boca Raton. Homeland Security investigators are questioning several migrants who came ashore illegally in Boca Raton this morning. A1A was shut down as they searched for upwards of 17 people. News Channel 5's Marissa Bagg is live in Boca with the latest. Marissa? Yeah, Kelly, I'm standing right where this all unfolded this morning. Witnesses tell us this is right where the migrants apparently docked that boat. You can see this palm tree, we're told, is what they wrap their rope around. And you can see there's a little bit of a marking there from where a rope may have been tied around the trunk of the tree. Officials say 15 to 20 people got off the boat and then ran down this alley where there were two vans or SUVs waiting to pick them up. They got into those vehicles and took off, and that's when the manhunt started. A1A came to a standstill in Highland Beach today as federal agents scoured the area looking for migrants who came on shore. Investigators focused on the Trafalgar condominium. Witnesses say three people were hiding inside this home on the first floor. They got in through a window. Border Patrol agents found them and took them into custody. <laughs> this is bizarre. It's, it's Boca. It's right by the Boca Resort. <laughs> and. You know, I'm just having breakfast on the balcony. All of a sudden, this happens. Rain Honablu was having breakfast at the Colonial Apartments around 9 o'clock when she saw the speedboat carrying the migrants pull up to her dock. I saw a speedboat with three younger women and two younger men, maybe in their 20s, 25, 30, and they pulled up along the dock. The boat was just docked here, it was moored here, and I don't believe that they took anybody off this boat here. I think when they fled into the vehicles, that's when they caught some of them. Chopper 5 got this exclusive video of the boat. Witnesses say upwards of 15 people were hiding in the hull of the boat and fled in two vans that were parked nearby. One van headed north and made it to Highland Beach. The other was stopped in Deerfield Beach. The boat is now with the feds. They did a search of the boat and then they towed it away and uh, I saw them drag it away. Homeland Security investigators won't tell us how many people they have in custody, only that this is just the start of an ongoing investigation. And police told us that the boat did come up through the Boca Inlet. So if it ended up here, it must have come through this bridge here at Camino Real sometime earlier this morning. Now, officials say the boat was being tracked by the Coast Guard from the Bahamas. At this point, the feds won't confirm for us just how many people they have taken into custody. But from what we understand, it's at least 10 people who were uh, taken with them earlier this morning. Of course, we will continue to stay on top of this story as it unfolds and bring you the latest. For now, we're live in Boca Raton. I'm Marissa Bag, WPTV News Channel 5.